beautiful day. So today's video is going to be the unboxing of the Boxy Lux for the month of June. So I got this yesterday. I'm super excited. I do know what variation I got, but um, I haven't looked really like fully looked at any of the products yet. Um, but I wanted to know what variation I got because I'm impatient. So let's see so if you don't know boxy charm or boxy lux you have to be a member of the of boxy charm in order to get the boxy lux the box boxy lux is every three months and it's an additional 28.99 on top of the 21 dollars for the regular box um but this one you get every three months and there's nine products in here i believe um so it says hello charmers right there and you open it up and it looks like this i can try and do this without really messing stuff up okay so the theme for this month is getaway my card got just a little bit and then on the back it has um the name and information of all of the products inside your box and I got variation 6B. Alrighty, so let's take this foam out. So, the very first thing that we have is from PYT and comes in this little bag. This is a mini um, hair dryer. And it comes with these two attachments. I believe this one is to straighten your hair, and I believe this one is to give you volume, I think. Um, I don't think I've actually really used these kind of attachments. But anyways, it is really small. So we did get a mini straightener from the same company, I believe, in the last Boxy Lux that we got. And that thing was so tiny, I could not, I couldn't use it because... It's like Barbie doll size and it's just not going to straighten your hair unless you have a Barbie doll size head. So this is what this one looks like. I got it in purple, which is one of my favorite colors. It is definitely small and lightweight. Um, so I'm hoping that it does work a little bit better than the um, mini straightener did. So, but I will definitely um, give it a try and let you guys know. This thing, guys, this thing retails for $85. No, 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 no. I spent $30 on a blow dryer, and I thought that was expensive and just absolutely crazy. So I would never spend $85 on a blow dryer, um, especially since it's not something that I use every day. Um... I don't blow dry my hair very often, so, but I just think $85 for a mini one, I think it's just a little, little on the pricey side. So, um, I will definitely give that a try and let you know how, um, that works. The next thing is Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. This is... Full dry volume blast. It's a finishing spray, so it is not a, it's a styling and finishing spray. So it's not technically a hairspray. And this is just supposed to give um, your hair body to it, which I could always use that. Um, so this is $29. Uh, mm. I don't know. I don't know. This would have to like do a miracle on my hair for me to spend $29 on it. But I'm excited to try it because I have not tried it yet. So I am definitely excited to give it a try and see how it works. And who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind and find out it's worth every penny of the $29. I don't know. Okay. Okay. The next thing that we have is, this is the Dr. Brandt's Clean, 
Clean Biotech, Biotech, I think is how you say that. Um, and this is the Yogurt Cleanser. So this is a face cleanser. Let's see, does it have... It does have a safety seal on it, so that's good. It doesn't really smell like a whole lot of anything. So, um, I love Dr. Brandt products. So, I am definitely very, very excited to give this a try and see how that works. And this is $35 for this, um, this little guy here. But it's... 3.5 ounces and normally with cleansers you don't need very much so this size of a bottle would actually probably last you quite a while so I will definitely be giving that a try and see if I like that then we have just fell out of the box the box is ripped so that's why okay well this is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, and let's see, this is a night serum. Pharmacy night serum, yeah. So this is does this say, does that say fifty eight dollars? This is $58. Oh my goodness. Okay. Skincare stuff is expensive. So I have heard good things about this, um, but I've never tried it. So I'll give that a try and see, see what it's like. Let's see. It does come have a pump on it. Let's see what it feels like. It doesn't have a super strong scent. I like that. Oh, but it's pretty, it's soft. Doesn't feel super, super oily. All right. I will definitely give that a try. I was not expecting this to, to be $58, though, I have to say. Okay, so the next thing that we have is, what is this? This is the Skin & Co. What is this? Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew Mist. Um, so this is a hydrating mist to illuminate the skin. Uh, okay, so this is just a hydrating mist. It's not like a a setting spray or anything. Um, it's just a hydrating mist. So let's see what this is. Oh, it's peppermint. Oh, I don't like peppermint. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I was not I was not quite quite expecting for that peppermint smell to be that strong. That is really, really strong. If you do not like peppermint, you're not going to like this. Um, I am not a big fan of peppermint. And that is a super strong smell. So I don't know. I don't know if I actually would use this or not. And this is $35. That's more that... That's more than my setting spray. And this is just a hydrating mist. Okay. I think some of these prices are just a little too high. But okay, we'll go with it. Um, the next thing we have is, this is the No Problem Prime Essence Primer from Touch and Soul. I have
have not tried this particular one. We did get a Touch and Soul primer in a BoxyCharm box a few months back. I don't remember what month it was. This feels very liquidy. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to feel that liquidy. Um, yeah, a few months back, and I didn't really care for that one, um, but I have not tried this one yet. So let's... Oh, that is super... Oh, that is super liquidy. I just feel like it's like water. Oh, it feels nice though, actually. It actually doesn't feel too bad. Okay, how much are you? You are... $23. That's not bad for a, a primer. That's I've spent $23 on a full-size um, primer before, so that's not a um, bad price. So I will definitely give this a try and see if I like it and let you guys know about that. And then we have, this is the Trustique Good Vibes Mascara. Now, I did see spoilers for this, and I thought that this was pretty cool. Oh, it's got a safe, it does have a safety seal on it. I thought this was pretty cool because it actually has a built-in eyelash curler, which I don't think I've ever seen on a mascara before. How do you use it? Ever. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure how dirty that is so but it looks like I don't know if you can see that either it looks like that and then it just does that and there's your cur curler your curler oh my gosh so I don't think I've ever seen that like built into a mascara that is kind of cool let's see this is what the wand looks like so it looks like a pretty typical wand. Um, it's a type of wand that I do actually like. So I have not tried um, this brand of mascara before at all. Um, so I am, I will give that a try and see what it's like. This is $25. Okay, if it works really good, then it would definitely be worth $25. Um, I know that there are some mascaras that retail for around the same price that are really good. So $25 for a good mascara is not quite unheard of. So um, then the last thing is, this is the Tarte High Performance and Naturals Tardiest Pro Glow Three. So this is the um, cheek and face palette. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You've got your mirrors on each side, which is cool. I do like how they have that. And then this is what colors look like so they're soft so tarts stuff for me is a little hit and miss sometimes so um, I'm hoping that this will work out pretty good I don't know if you can really see the swatches all that well. But that's what the swatches look like. So I will definitely give this a try and see how it works. This retails for $45. So... It's a pretty large size palette though, so if it works well, I'd pay $45 for it. 
if it performs well. And I did lie because there is one more thing left in this box. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. And this is lip gloss in the shade Lemonade. So that's the packaging is actually very cute packaging. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses, but, and it smells like vanilla cake. I'm surprised it doesn't smell more like lemonade considering it is named pink lemonade, but it is what it is, I guess. So it's a pretty sheer lip gloss. It's not in a but it's not a terrible color. So this retails for $17. That's not too bad. Um I don't think I'd spend $17 on it just because I don't wear a lot of lip glosses. So for me, spending $17 on a lip gloss um just isn't very reasonable for me because I don't wear it that much. But um I will give it a try and see what it it looks like on so all in all it's not a bad box um it's definitely got some value in it um so again we've got the tarte face palette domini cosmetics lip gloss no pore bloom um prime essence primer pharmacy honeymoon glow i'm running out of hands trustique mascara Living Proof Volumizing Spray. I can't hold it all up, guys. Sorry. Dr. Brandt's um, Yogurt Cleanser and Peppermint Spray, which I most likely will not use because it is definitely a very, very heavily scented peppermint spray. So that's every... Oh, and the Barbie doll size blow dryer. So that's everything that I got. Um, let me know what variation you got and what products you got and if you like them or not. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you have not already done so. And I will see you guys in my very next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.